फेयर एंड स्क्वायर में आपका स्वागत है हमारे आज के मेहमान हैं पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी के वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर अरुण ग्रोवर वेलकम ऑन फेयर एंड स्क्वायर प्रोफेसर ग्रोवर थैंक यू हिंदुस्तान की नंबर एक यूनिवर्सिटी के वाइस चांसलर अभी पीछे ही टाइम्स हायर एजुकेशन मैगजीन ने जो सर्वे किया था उसमें पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी को उस सर्वे ने सबसे आगे पाया था आई और जे से भी आगे How does it feel to be a vice chancellor of the topmost university? I consider myself to be lucky कि मैं यहाँ उस समय वाइस चांसलर नियुक्त किया गया जब ये सब अच्छी अच्छी चीज़ें होनी थी सो ये कोई आश्चर्यजनक बात नहीं है मेरे लिए या उन प्रोफेसर के लिए जो इस यूनिवर्सिटी में काफ़ी देर से जुड़े हुए हैं कि ये यूनिवर्सिटी हिंदुस्तान की बट लोगों में एक बहुत आश्चर्यजनक सी बात ये देखने को मिली जब ये यूनिवर्सिटी की न्यूज़ आई पीपल व क्वाइट सरप्राइज अगर आप जानकार लोगों की बात करें तो वो सरप्राइज नहीं थे आम आदमी इसलिए सरप्राइज है क्योंकि कई देर से ये एक फोकलोर है कि इंडिया की यूनिवर्सिटीज़ अच्छी नहीं कर रही हैं यूनिवर्सिटीज़ आई के पीछे हैं सो so, किसी एक यूनिवर्सिटी का आई के आगे डिक्लेयर हो जाना वॉज एन एलिमेंट ऑफ सरप्राइज साइटेशन के बेस पे आपको बहुत ज़्यादा पॉइंट मिल गए सो इज दैट अ पैरामीटर इनफ टू जज क्योंकि आपके टीचिंग में ट्वेंटी सिक्स हैं रिसर्च में फोर्टीन पॉइंट्स हैं इंडस्ट्री इनकम में ट्वेंटी एट हैं और इंटरनेशनल आउटलुक में ट्वेंटी नाइन है सो साइटेशन में इसलिए ज़्यादा नंबर मिल गए क्योंकि जो ये साइटेशन साइंस के कुछ चुनिंदा डिपार्टमेंट से जुड़ी हुई है और वो चुनिंदा डिपार्टमेंट जो हैं इंटरनेशनल रिसर्च में एज इक्वल पार्टनर पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं सो so, अगर पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी और टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फंडामेंटल रिसर्च एक इंटरनेशनल एक्सपेरिमेंट में दोनों पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं तो जितना पॉइंट्स टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फंडामेंटल रिसर्च को मिलेंगे वैसे ही पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी को मिलेंगे तो बाकी पैरामीटर्स हाई नहीं है सो so, उसके बाद बहुत मीडिया की डिबेट हुई कि ऑन जस्ट बेसिस ऑफ साइटेशन एक यूनिवर्सिटी को डिक्लेयर कर दिया गया है नंबर वन फॉर एग्जांपल एक नंबर वन यूनिवर्सिटी है ये इंडिया की इस टाइम पर जब ये जॉब प्लेसमेंट्स के लिए जाते हैं इनको सैलरीज तो नंबर एक यूनिवर्सिटी के हिसाब से पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी के स्टूडेंट्स को नहीं मिलती सो पॉइंट इज़ कि आप सैलरी इसका कंपेरिजन किस से कर रहे हैं अगर आप पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी के इंजीनियर्स को आई के इंजीनियर से कंपेयर करेंगे नेचुरली हमारे इंजीनियर्स को उतनी तनख्वाह नहीं मिलती बट एम बी एस अगर एम बी एस भी करोगे एम बी ए करोगे तो यू बी एस इज़ नॉट इन द सेम लीग एज द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट बट अगर आई आई एम्स को छोड़ दीजिए या और कुछ आई एस बी को छोड़ दीजिए या कुछ और चुनिंदा बिजनेस स्कूल्स को छोड़ दीजिए तो यू बी एस जो पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी का फ्लैगशिप बिजनेस स्कूल था कुछ साल पहले वो दिल्ली के एफ एम एस के के ब्रैकेटेड ही गिना जाता था आज हम उन यू थोड़ा सा पिछड़ गया है एफ के पर बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं पिछड़ा है बच्चे इंडिया में नंबर वन आई है बट जो वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग्स हैं उसमें बहुत फ़र्क है सो आर वी हमारे आर वी फॉलोइंग द ग्लोबल एजुकेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स ये यूनिवर्सिटी में वो है जो यूनिवर्सिटियाँ वर्ल्ड में पहले हंड्रेड में हैं दे आर प्राइमरीली नोन एज रिसर्च यूनिवर्सिटीज रिसर्च यूनिवर्सिटीज में जो प्राइमरी चीज़ है वो मास्टर्स और पीएचडी एजुकेशन है दे आल्सो हैव एफिलिएटेड कॉलेजेस और अंडर ग्रेजुएट होती है बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू फैक्टर्स व्हिच गो एन टू बेकिंग द रैंकिंग्स उसमें जस्ट एज यू राइटली सेड यू नो साइटेशंस हैव एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसर्च हैज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंस इंटरनेशनल आउटलुक हैज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंस सो हमारी जो ये पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी है उसमें पिछले चार पाँच सालों से तो एम्फिस है टूवर्ड्स पीएचडी प्री कोर्स वर्क इन पीएचडी पर ये सब चीज़ें हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए अभी नई हैं आप जो फर्स्ट हंड्रेड में यूनिवर्सिटीज़ हैं उनमें दिस इंटीग्रेटेड मास्टर्स एंड पीएचडी प्रोग्राम्स दे हैव बिन एन इसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ इट एवर सिंस I think the end of the Second World War. But given the success, yes. So Punjab University का अब सफर कहाँ को जाएगा? जब पहली दफा ranking आई और हमारा number 225 और 250 के बीच में था, so it looked difficult कि 
कौन सा रास्ता अपनाया जाए आगे जाने के लिए किसको रोल मॉडल लेके इम्प्रूवमेंट्स की जाए जब मैं यहाँ वाइस चांसलर आया था तब तो मुझे लगा कि अब अगर पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी को रिसर्च यूनिवर्सिटीज़ की तरफ जाना है तो यहाँ इंटीग्रेटेड मास्टर्स और पीएचडी प्रोग्राम्स शुरू करना फ़ायदेमंद होगा पर अब जब रीसेंट रैंकिंग आई है जिसमें पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी को उन यूनिवर्सिटी से कंपेयर किया गया है जो ब्रिक नेशंस या इमरजिंग इकोनॉमीज के और बारह कंट्रीज़ हैं उस कंपेरिजन में पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी का नंबर तेरहवा है और हमारे आगे जो बारह यूनिवर्सिटीज़ हैं उनकी रैंकिंग हमसे वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग में नेचुरली हायर है राइट right. तो नंबर वन उस रैंकिंग में है पीकिंग यूनिवर्सिटी बीजिंग बीजिंग और दूसरी है जिंगवा यूनिवर्सिटी वो भी बीजिंग में है तो ये दो यूनिवर्सिटीज़ को मैं थोड़ा बहुत जानता हूँ पीकिंग यूनिवर्सिटी में मैं गया हूँ मैंने वहाँ लेक्चर दिए हैं और मुझे उनकी स्ट्रेंथ पता है तो नौ अब हमें एक विजिबल टारगेट मिल गया है हम उनकी स्ट्रेंथ्स को देखें और अपनी वीकनेसेस को पहचानें अगर हम उस गैप को पूरा कर दें तो हम तेरह से आगे बढ़ने लगेंगे तो जैसे ही हम तेरह से आगे बढ़ने लगेंगे ऑन ए स्पेसिफिक पाथ इट मे नॉट बी द बेस्ट पाथ बट दिस इज़ ए डूएबल पाथ और इससे सर्टनली हम आगे जा पाएंगे क्योंकि वो हमसे काफ़ी आगे सो वॉट इज़ द पाथ ओके सो पिछले बारह सिंस द बिगनिंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी पीकिंग यूनिवर्सिटी ने अपना जो हायर एजुकेशन कोर्स वर्क है दे हैव ट्राई टू रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट इट अराउंड वॉट दे कॉल एज शनजन ग्रेजुएट स्कूल उन्होंने ऐसे इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी ग्रेजुएट स्कूल्स बनाए हैं ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ अमेरिकन ग्रेजुएट स्कूल्स वेयर फ्यू डिपार्टमेंट्स आर कॉपरेटिंग टू प्रमोट इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च विच इज़ एट द कटिंग एज ऑफ नॉलेज और पिछले तेरह साल में ही चाइनीज गवर्नमेंट ने बहुत सारे सेंट्रली फंडेड इंस्टीट्यूशंस पीकिंग यूनिवर्सिटी के कैंपस में या अराउंड दैट कैंपस नए इंस्टीट्यूट्स इस्टेब्लिश कर दिए हैं सो कॉपरेशन बिटवीन दिस सेंट्रली फंडेड चाइनीज इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड द प्रीमियर यूनिवर्सिटी इन पीकिंग हैज़ टेकन दिस लिफ्टेड दिस यूनिवर्सिटी इन टू द गुड वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग मैंने कहीं ये भी पढ़ा था कि जब आपकी ये रैंकिंग आई तो आपने कहा था कि अब टाइम आ गया फॉर होम ग्रोन नोबेल लॉरेट्स यू नो दैट यूनिवर्सिटी शुड फोकस ताकि हमारे यूनिवर्सिटी से ही यू नो कोई ना कोई नोबेल लॉरेट होना चाहिए सो इज द यूनिवर्सिटी केपेबल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिमाइंड यू एंड द व्यूअर्स ऑफ योर प्रोग्राम वॉट प्रोफेसर भांबा स्टेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स अक्टूबर which is very recently when we had a seminar and he was giving the validatory address of making of modern punjab he told everyone 1946 ek aisa year tha university of punjab at lahore mein us saal ke do graduates ek chemistry mein aur ek physics mein they went on to win the nobel prizes one hargobind khurana who got it in medicine he was a chemistry graduate at punjab university the other abdul salam who was a mathematics graduate of Punjab, university of punjab at lahore who got a nobel prize in physics so this is the potential of people of this region apne date saal pehle jab join kiya punjab university ko as the vice chancellor to ab tata institute of fundamental research mein ab pehle kaam karte the do you find a difference in the work culture between the punjab university and where you were which was more professional tata institute of fundamental research is a national laboratory which has recently become a deemed university or a niche research university whereas punjab university is an entirely different institution here a large number of young people join for undergraduate education first some of them go on to do post graduation few of the best post graduate students leak out to enroll after selection in tata institute of fundamental research so the tata institute of fundamental research is built on the cream of the indian universities so it's an entirely different 
it's the same people, but you are taking the very best and you are putting them in contact with the very best so kya who are competing with the very best worldwide. So the level of competition is very, very high and the survival is so difficult that only the very fit survive. So whereas a university is a different place. At the university, you want to graduate a large number of people. Okay, it is not a place that only the fittest should survive. But have you brought any changes? Any changes lie? I am trying to enthuse my colleagues that we should start the graduate school education in the university. We should have a more understanding and cooperation between the various departments. A world is changing very quickly. New things are coming. Take the information technology, take the biotechnology. Is the university equipped? Is it open to changing courses, bringing new courses? Is it keeping pace with the changing world scenario? It is trying to, but there is nothing that prevents within the university structure to change things quickly. Prima facie, there is no political interference of any kind in this university. There may be a politics in the administrative functioning of the university, and that is where the people may have that impression by reading news, news stories here and there and so on. But political parties per se are not influencing the university in negative sense in any way. The university has a rigid structure, but it has a structure. Any changes that you want to bring, there is a proper procedure, you put a proposals, meetings happen, and if you can convince the colleagues, then we don't have to go to any external agency to see that we want to bring in changes. लगता है कि जो आप सोचते हैं या जो आपकी सेनेट या सिंडिकेट है आपकी सोच में फिर फर्क है अगर इम्प्लीमेंट नई चीज जल्दी होती देर इज एन एकेडमिक व्यू एंड अ पॉलिटिकल व्यू सेनेट एंड सिंडिकेट एकेडमिक फंक्शनिंग एज रिगार्ड्स कोर्सेज आर कंसर्न डज नॉट इंटरफेयर एट ऑल इट इज नॉट ए करेक्ट इम्प्रेशन दैट द सेनेट एंड सिंडिकेट आर ए हिंड्रेंस इन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग एनी एकेडमिक चेंजेस as far as the coursework and curricula are concerned. Any particular line you have thought that we need to introduce such courses and courses, keeping the global trend in mind? We need to promote interdisciplinary research. If we can do that in the university, we have, you know, compartmentalized. Economics department is autonomous. Political science is autonomous. Public administration is autonomous. Similarly, every department is autonomous. But for interdisciplinary this thing, the like-minded departments have to work as a single academic unit. They have to enroll students and allow the students, if you have done, say, MA in economics, and if you want to sort of work with a professor of and work in the area of say, strategy of public administration or some other thing, that freedom should be there. So if once everybody starts appreciating that interdisciplinary means that these sharp boundaries have to be dimmed a little bit and you have to allow people to move from one to the other. There is a hindrance in it? That no, no, no. There is no hindrance, you know, but any new idea takes a while. University ki financial condition kaisi hai? Is mein kafi resources utne hai ke jo aap karna chaate hai, achieve kar sakte hai, ya koi limitations hai? Indian universities, the financial conditions, jo typical universities hai, koi bahut achhi nahi hai. Punjab University is a unique university in the country. It neither belongs to a given state, nor it is a truly central university. It is called interstate body corporate. So it receives a fixed quantum of money from Punjab government, and that quantum has not kept pace with the inflation. So Punjab government's contribution to the Punjab University's budget is progressively decreasing in terms of the fraction of the total expense. But why is the Punjab government rigid? Not Punjab government froze that money some years ago. And since Punjab government's finances are not, they don't have that much of a surplus of money. So prima facie, and they have many other universities to look after. So they have frozen this number. So it is a very small number. We get 20 crore rupees from Punjab government. We have an estimated expense 
of the between 350 to 400 crores in a year. So, Sade Tinsa Charsa crore, Mr. Punjab government, 20 crore deti. Mari income hai between 100 and 150 crores. And this year's our projected deficit is 170 crores. Out of that 170 crores, we just received 110 crores. 60 more crores we need just to meet the expenses of the current financial year. But in the current financial year, we are spending between 85 to 80, 90 percent money just on salaries. So the total money that we have to spend on the university's development, infrastructure, etc., is only of the order of 13 percent of the 400. So you can see what we have just some 40, 50 crore rupees for to spend on university's development, which is a very small sum of money. So to that extent. Yes, we have a financial crunch. Kafi integration or a year between the university a, and corporate sector may Aapki university be koi is taraf bhad rahi hai? Yes, so we ever since this report came on board corporate participation in higher education in May of 2012, we are perhaps the first university who have been talking to the corporate sector, trying to entice them to contribute something to us towards Punjab University. We have not fully succeeded, but we are still talking. A general impression, hai, in fact, uh, records we show that there is no international faculty in uh, Punjab University. Mein. Is it a policy or a policy? We nahi cannot hai? employ nationals of other countries into our current faculty at the moment because the way the university is structured, our jobs are not open to foreign nationals. But international students we both come in. Yes, the students have reduced because we just do not have appropriate infrastructure to attract foreign students. One perception is that there is a brain drain here, professors or faculty. Because Punjab University has central schemes to implement it, it delays it. Coffee professors or faculty members chodke chalegaya university. I don't think this impression is correct. After my arrival, I haven't found any faculty member leaving this university and going abroad to join uh, another university because the conditions there were unfavorable or anything. About your wife's appointment, uh, as a music professor. Though they say there is no illegality, but there is some confusion. What is that? My wife is a professor of music at a five-star university in Maharashtra, the namely the first and the iconic women's university of the country, SNDT Women's University. She has been a professor there since the year 2007 and she had been the head of the department there for the last uh, 12 years. So when I moved in here, the university offered her a one year position so that she could take a leave from there and come here and stay with me. So the university doesn't want to, did not approve her position for a year. The matter went to the Senate. The Senate asked the matter to be reconsidered and it has been reconsidered. These are student bodies ki elections in the university. Mein. Ye honi chahiye, the way they are conducted? See, itna money power, itna violence. There has not been any violence in the last two years that I have been uh, here. And I understand that even in the time of my predecessor, there were almost no violence even during his time. I got Mr. Lingdo to visit the Punjab University. Mr. Lingdo was brought in few weeks before the elections. I had set up an interaction session between Mr. Lingdo and all the Because Mr. Lingdo said that indirect elections election hone hone But uh, we are not forcing it on the them. So I told the student leaders of this year, please learn from the experience of this year and come up with some reforms some new algorithm, so the kind of unacceptable level of practices that happened during the election in the year 2013, that they should not have happened in the year 2014.
इतने इंस्टीट्यूट सब आ गए हैं आई एस पी आ गया है प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी लवली यूनिवर्सिटी है ये कैसी कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कर रहे हैं रीजन में आई एस पी इज़ ए वेरी निश इंस्टीट्यूशन आई एस पी इज़ ट्राइंग टू प्रोवाइड मैन पावर ऑफ ए वेरी हाई क्वालिटी टू मैनेज प्राइमरीली दिग कॉरपोरेट हाउसेज एंड मल्टी नेशनल कंपनी लवली यूनिवर्सिटी इज़ ए डिफरेंट कप ऑफ अटी लवली यूनिवर्सिटी has a it's a big university with a large mass the number of students enrolled at the lovely university is more than the number of students that are enrolled at punjab university campus chandigarh we have less than 15000 students and they have more than 15000 students number of students staying on their campus is larger than the number of campus they stay at punjab university campus so the lovely university is trying to provide some kind of a skills in the background of degrees so employable yes, uh, if graduates they, if generate they will kare. not generate employable graduates in whichever course they will not provide employable graduates few years in a row that course will close down it will not have any enrollment punjab university ki kitni ki employability hai the professional colleges like uiit UBS, UICET, hotel management has not yet produced graduates, but most of the professional colleges are perceived well by the industry. So it is my guess that of the order of 60 to 70 percent graduates do get job offers in campus placements on behalf of the professional courses. Traditional departments like honor schools in sciences or the masters in humanities this figure may be less than 40% maybe it's about one third to half depending upon a given department dr manmohan singh is an alumni of the university in fact an ex faculty member also one contribution of dr manmohan singh to this university there could be several that you can count he was a student at husharpur then he came one contribution as a prime minister has has the university gained yes, with him one, being the prime minister yes few years ago he came to the university at the time of my predecessor and he said that university's finances would be routed through the ugc directly and not via the earlier path of coming via the funding of the uh, ut chandigarh administration so by this thing he made punjab university a de facto central university as of today we are getting our deficit met in an ad hoc way from the plan budget of the university but this year for the first time we have got 110 crore grant from the non plan budget of the of the ugc so if from next year we become a regular part of the non plan budget of the ugc this will make the way for our receiving money additionally for from the plan budget of the union government also this will enable us to conceive of plans which we can submit as a part of the plan document of the central government so even though we may not have a special allocation during the 12th five year plan because the 12th five year plan is already in go but hopefully in the 13th five year plan our non plan budget would be separate and our plan budget would be separate and that will bring us on par with all the other central institutions in the country and if we retain our ranking as a premier university of the country then i think the future of the university and the financial of the university would be on a more secure footing my last question to you professor grobel ke agar aapko ek jadu ki chadi de di jaye aur free hand de di de diya jaye to kaun si teen cheeze hain jo aap immediately karoge to make this university attain further heights one have the graduate school program second have this concept of post doctoral researcher in the university the indian system does not have this post doctoral positions if i can create if we have a faculty of 1000 if we can have some way of having say 4 500 
postdoctoral temporary positions in the university. This can transform the research level of the university to a high, very high level. And the third? And the third, third is to provide, you know, Baba said, proper conditions of work and intelligent financial support is needed to build research university. So, proper conditions for work. Proper conditions for work means that if I have 500 postdoctoral workers and if I have want to attract the best faculty and if I want to have research scholars of high quality working, you know, research scholar is typically at an age 23 plus. 70 percent of the research scholars today are women. So, I would like to build a township which has this transit accommodation for the young research scholars, transit accommodation for this 500 postdoctoral fellows, and a transit accommodation for the newer faculty who would arrive at Chandigarh city. Chandigarh city is a very expensive city. If a faculty member has to stay 30 kilometers away and commute, then he will not be able to contribute to the university in the first beginning years when he has to establish himself in a competitive way. So we need some 40, 50 acres of land where we can build this transit campus. And along with the transit campus should be some space where these interdisciplinary areas can be provided infrastructure. So if these two things can be managed along with the present university, then the university will try. It is in that background, with the that dream, we submitted a proposal to the governor and the advisor to the UT administrator, give us some additional land. We have written to the prime minister, give us some additional money to commemorate 150 years of higher education, to take a given institution, which is adjudged as a good institution of the country, to take it to a higher level of performance, to realize what the president said that he wants to see some university of the country to be within first 200. We are at the threshold of that. If we have been at that between 225 and 250, we are only 50 steps away. So, if these things can be done, we will not only move by 50 steps, I am personally hopeful in a matter of three to five years, we will move by 100 steps and go on the world rankings from 225 to 250 to 125 to 150 and in that BRICS ranking from number 13 to within the first five. Thank you, Professor Grover. Thank you so much. Khabaron ki dunya mein aayye. Hamare saath, kahi bhi aur kabhi bhi judiye. Ham milenge Facebook par, ham dikhenge YouTube par. Hame follow kijiye Twitter par. Khabaron ke saath bane rahiye raat din.